Ready? And here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Yo, what is up guys? My name is DJ Rick Webb and welcome to my video tutorial series on how to mix for beginners. First off, I'd like to give a big shout out to my friends over at Hercules for sponsoring this video series. When I first started out as DJ, I actually used the Hercules DJ controller picture right here. And it is where I learned basically all the basics of DJing that I'm going to show you guys in this video. So what better way to relate to all you beginners out there than to show you guys personally on a Hercules controller how I learned all these techniques. Now in front of me here we have the DJ controller Impulse 300 from Hercules. This controller literally has so many features that help you and teach you how to DJ properly. And I really wish this something like this existed when I actually started off DJing. So let's jump on into the video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about beats, bars, and phrases. And these are the fundamental building blocks of all mixing when it comes to DJ. What I'm going to be showing you guys is probably going to seem very tedious and kind of boring. And you're probably going to be like, Ricky, I just want to play bangers at the club. <laughs> But trust me, if you want to get to that level, this is the basics that you need to master before you move on to any other sorts of mixing related stuff when it comes to DJing. So let's jump into it. Here I got my headphones. I'm going to put my headphones on purely so that I can actually listen and cue up what song I'm going to be playing. So right now, as you guys can see in DJ Juice right now, I have two songs queued up. And both of these songs are intro edit songs. So the purpose of these songs are they have an intro edit and this edit is a consistent beat and this is purely for demonstration purposes. So let's start off with the first fundamental that we're gonna learn. The first fundamental is beats. Beats is what you see people tapping their foot to. You can probably clap to a beat. Um, so let's listen to this track right here and tap along with me to the beats. Those are our beats right there. Right there, we're at 120. That's 120 beats per minute. So there's 120 beats in a minute of this song. Now, the next fundamental I want to talk about is bars. And a bar is made up of four beats. There are two methods out there to count bars. Um, this is the one that I personally use, which goes like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then you have this other one, which I don't use, and I don't know many people that use it, but it goes like this. 1, A, B, C, 2, A, B, C, 3, you get the point. So every time we jump over a number, we're counting that bar. And a helpful thing that the DJ Juice software does is it actually counts the bars for you on the screen. So if we watch right here as I count along, you will see on the screen right beside the song, it counting the bars. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. Now that is a great tool that the DJ Juice software has and definitely will be something that you guys can look for to help you along the way, but it's not something you want to 100% rely on. So you definitely want to actually train your ear and you want to learn how to count beats properly. So let me give you guys a tip for learning what is basically the ones and twos and threes and fours of a bar. So right here, that's our one. See how it's got a nice deep kick sound to it? That's our one. Right here is our two. See how it's got like a higher pitch sharper sound? And then if we move on to the three, we got the kick sound again. Move to the four, back to another sharp, higher pitch sound. And this is typical of most drum programming for almost every single song out there. You will find that your kicks are on your ones and your threes and your snares, your sharper sounds, or maybe even a clap, you'll find to be on the twos and the four. Now knowing that is something that we're definitely going to be looking more for when we get into beat matching in the second episode, but in terms of bars, that kind of can help you guys break down where's the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. So now I want to move on over to the other song I have here. And again, we can see that we have the kick on the one and then... This, in this terms, we have a uh, clap on the two. So on the ones and the threes, we have the hits, and on the twos and the threes, we have the claps. So now the next fundamental that we're gonna learn using this song is phrases, and a phrase is made up of four bars. 
at the end of four bars, at the end of eight bars, or 16 bars, etc., there's going to be a change in the song in some sort of way. So you see what we're doing here. We have beats, bars are made up of four beats, and phrases are made up of four bars. This is the structure of all music out there. Well, probably 99% of music out there is in this structure, which is why this is the fundamental building blocks to learn when you're going to DJ and mix music. And that's phrases, and those are the three main building blocks that you guys need to learn. So I want to wrap this video up right here with one last thing. I want to count out for you guys all the way from the one, which is the first beat to the song. We'll learn that in a future video as well, because everything happens on the one. So I want to count out for you guys the intro of this song. Now, I already know that this song is an 8-bar intro. I've already counted it. But... If you guys are downloading intro edit songs, which I highly suggest you do, it will make your mixing life a thousand times easier, and we will see that in the upcoming videos. But, so, we have an 8-bar intro. So I want to count it out for you guys, and I want you guys to listen and count along with me, and notice that at 4 bars, we will have a transition hit, something new will happen, and then when we get to 8 bars, the song actually begins. Ready? And here we go. One, two, three, four. You guys notice right there that at the end of the eight bar, which is the end of our eight bar intro, it jumps right into the song. And right there, guys, at the end of the eighth bar, we had the da 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 which jumps right into the beginning of the song. So, in terms of DJing, a lot of DJs don't refer to actual phrases. They don't refer to this being a phrase intro. Normally, they'll talk in bars. So, it'll either be a four-bar intro, an eight-bar intro, or a 16-bar intro. The key point on knowing phrases is knowing that at the end of four bars, at the end of eight bars, or 16 bars, etc., there's going to be a change in the song in some sort of way, signaling the next phrase. And again, it's just part of music structure. So after four bars, you normally restart back to one. And this is going to be key when it comes to doing beat matching and mixing in the upcoming videos. Well, guys, that was a quick tutorial on the fundamental building blocks of mixing, which are beats, bars and phrases. I definitely encourage you guys if this is the first time you've learned about beats, bars and phrases that you go listen to some music and actually sit there and count out the music. Trust me, it'll help you a lot moving forward. And over time as you mix, you practice, you count your music over and over and over again, it actually becomes literally like an afterthought. Like you don't even think that you're doing it, but you naturally are counting the music. It's comparable to like breathing or blinking. You don't think about doing them. It just happens. And it's kind of weird, but trust me, you will eventually get to that point. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first tutorial in this series. In the next one, we're going to be talking about beat matching. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button right there. If you want to check out the Hercules DJ Impulse 300 that we will be using in this whole entire video series, you want to check out the DJ Juice software that comes with the controller. Link's down in the description down below. Once again, shout out to Hercules for sponsoring this video series. And like always, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.